Okay, so in this video we're kind of carrying on uh, where we left off in our last video where we started uh, looking at intents. Uh, but in this video what I'm going to do is just explain uh, the different types of intents. So we can look at the differences between uh, this kind of intent which is called an explicit intent and another another way to uh, define intents and that's using, uh, using them as an, an implicit intent. Now because this is called an explicit intent, what that means is you are directly saying what you want to do. So you want to go from this class to this class. It's that clear, it's that simple. In most cases you are probably going to want to use an, an explicit intent. Unless you start when you start um when you start building applications that may want to use other applications on your on your phone or on your device, then you may want to start using implicit uh, intents. But in this case, if you're just uh, making your own um, fun app or whatever, or just for your own use or something simple, you simply use an explicit intent. So you're going from this activity to this activity. And when we go, to, obviously in all activities, we have to define in our uh, Android manifest. So you can just ex you can just define them as as such a simple activity. So we'll, we'll stick with explicit intents. We literally it's the simplest type. So if you're not sure on how intents how to start a new activity using intents, then just have a look at the, my last video and just I'll go through all this. Now you don't have to write it, write it out like this. What you could do is you could actually define the intent within the start activity uh, method. So what we could do is if we just start a new one. So start activity, and inside there we could say new intent, and inside there, there then we we say what we want to do so this and then we want to open up the orc class which which is this class that I've defined earlier so this is basically this without declaring an object you're going you're saying you just want to start this intent and we'll go from this class to this class so if we run that So this this button here runs this method, show image, and there we go. So that's another way of, of just writing this. If you want to start passing in data from one activity to another, you may want to define an object just to make it clearer, because then you can you can pass in. It just makes it clearer when you want to pass in um, pass in your data. So that's another way of of, of starting an activity. Now that's an explicit intent, so we want to use an, an implicit intent. So if we go to the manifest, Android manifest, this this activity here, this is an implicit intent. So what happens is we have these intent filters. So if I was to remove that intent filter, this activity which almost is pretty much the same as these other activities. The only difference is we've got this this um, attribute here, label which all that does is when we run the app Ooh. is is this thing here so if we go show image of orc it just displays this just displays this um uh, without it it will just default to our application label so if you if you if you did you you could Add this uh, label. You could just we'll just copy this attribute. Actually, we'll go back just to pop that or that fit that intent filter back in. So if we took this Android label, copied it and pasted it, pasted it inside our orc activity, and we could say uh, this is an image of an orc. we run that show image of orc Oop. and there we go just displays that this is an image of an orc and we'll just delete that okay so if we want we want an implicit an implicit intent 
require an intent filter. Okay, so we've got this we've got this uh, category and we've got this action um, attributes. So what the category does is just in this case, this this says that this this activity is the launcher for the app. So I'll show you what if you if you uh, if you copy this and put this inside our orc activity, we say we've got so we've got the same action main and category launcher. I'll explain this action main in just a second, but this category launcher, if we declare these both as launchers and we run our app, we'll see what happens. Oh, I haven't um, closed off my activity properly. I just want to copy that. So if we just go back, go back to the home screen. We've got two. We've now got two launchers. So that's what we've done is we've defined two launchers. So if we click on this one, it opens up this activity, and if we click on this one, it opens up this activity. So we don't want we don't want two launchers. So what do we do? So that's what in this case what we have to do is we have to say default. It's category default. So in most cases, it, all our other activities we want to we want to define as default. So if we run our app now, go back. So we just we just got the one. Um, launcher. What it's what it's doing is it's still it's still actually running this this class this this intent explicitly, so it's ignoring this intent filter. Anyway, so we want to use an implicit intent. So instead of saying go instead of saying we want to go from this activity to this this class to this class we can simply define the name of the intent. In this case, it's here, it's this, this intent filter here. But we don't want it to be main, because we've already got a main. So if we if we name our intent as this, it would get confused because it's saying, well, you've got two two intents in this case. So we'll, we'll run that, we'll, we'll see how that works in just a minute. But in this case, we want to say, we can call this whatever we want. We can call it whatever we want, but uh, for clarity, we'll just say Android Intent Action dot uh, show orc. So we copy that. Let's say it doesn't have to be in in um, caps. It's just. All, all the actions are, are in cap, so it it remains the, the conventions remain the same. So we'll just copy that name. We we'll go to our main activity, and we we'll just literally paste it there. All we need we need speak we need our our um speech marks. So this is an implicit intent. We 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 uh, declare the name which is here. So if we run this now, and we click on this button, it then displays our image. So what it's doing is when we click on the, on the button, it's looking for this this name. So it looks it actually looks for all your device applications on your device for this name, and if it match sees anything that matches this name, it will run the activity. So, like I said, if we if we if we kept it as main, 
can run that. Let me just get called that main. We run that. Let's see what happens. It's found. What's what's happened is it's found. It's found two. So it's saying, what what? Do you want to use this one or do you want to use this one? So if we click on this one here and just once, it opens the window up. If we click on it and we want to use the launcher, it just returns to the home screen. So it's 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 getting confused. It's you've got two main names and it doesn't know which one to run. So it's asking you what what do you want to do. So it really depends on what you want this ac activity to do. I mean, you could say um, if you if we if we delete that and have ha and have a look look at this web search. Let's say this activity starts a web a web um, a web search. So if we, if we put web search in and we copy that and we tell it to run it. We give it that name, which will then when it runs, we we'll look for this. We'll look for all actions with this name. So if we run that now, we click on that button. It's it's going to look for all names with this. It's going to look for all your applications with this name. In this case, it's found Google because Google has this action within it. So it's saying, do you want to start this activity with Google or with your application called New Window? And in this case, it, it won't work with Google. So if we click Google, all we get is all we get is is it crashes. Is this is the wrong application to, to, for this activity? So we, and we can call this. We can call, we have we did call it. So we called it um, Show Walk, but we can call it whatever you want. You can call it brain the size of a planet. So we call it that, copy that name, pop it in here, run that. And it still opens that 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 image because it's looking for this name, finds it here, and then runs this, opens this application, opens this class. And again, you really want to keep with convention. So what we what we can do is we can copy this. We want to use our package name package name. So it just keeps with convention. So again, if we run it, it it, it will still run. So there we go. So that's implicit intents using intent, which use intent filters mostly. So um, I hope that was clear. So any questions, please uh, just leave a comment. And thanks for watching.